Today on CVTV, we're going to go over the setup and installation of the newly released IceCap 3K flow pump. Hello, this is Jeremy, and welcome to another episode of CVTV. Compared to traditional power heads and wave makers that have propeller nozzle style flow, the IceCap 3K is based on advanced cross flow technology that produces massive horizontal water movement capable of creating the iconic gyre flow pattern. Most flow pumps out on the market are based off of propeller nozzle style flow technology, which produces flow from a single point. This is great for speed boats and water skiing, but not for a delicate creatures in the reef. Single point water flow pumps create a hot zone, an area of fast and abrasive flow that will damage anything in its path, rendering the valued tank space unusable as any corals in the immediate vicinity of the pump will get stripped of all flesh and die. Cross flow pumps, on the other hand, spread the energy over a large horizontal area. This allows the pump to push massive amounts of water, but still be gentle to our corals even when placed near the pump. The IceCap 3K is a great pump that uses the latest in cross-flow technology at a reasonable price. It is durable and features a very effective motor consuming a mere 8 to 40 watts depending on the intensity of the flow, with the maximum flow of 3,000 gallons per hour. You heard it right, 3,000 gallons per hour. A single 3K pump is suitable for tanks up to 100 gallons and multiple 3K pumps can easily handle larger systems. So let's get ready for IceCap Gyre 3K 101, setup and installation. Before we get started, let's make sure that everything is included and nothing is missing from the box. The box should include 3K pump, power adapter, controller with mount, protective sleeves, spare set of propeller bushings, instruction manual. Assembling and installing the pump is fairly straightforward, but we must be careful when choosing the location and orientation of the pump within our tank. We can mount the 3K pump horizontally so that the water pushes across, or we could choose to set the pump vertically on the rear glass and push water across the back. Once we have selected the optimal spot for the 3K, it is time to install the pump. First, ensure that the glass thickness is no more than half inch. Then, using a simple razor, we must clean the selected area to remove any algae from the surface. Separate the pump from the magnet bracket and install it in the desired location. These magnets are very strong, so please be careful not to pitch your fingers or to have the magnet slip out of your hands as it may damage the glass or acrylic. Once installed, we may rotate the flow cages clockwise or counterclockwise to adjust the water flow angle and take note to where the water is directed. When mounting the IceCap 3K vertically, please be sure to rotate the cages so that the water intake is away from the glass or acrylic walls. Once the pump has been installed, it is time to mount the controller. Choose a location that is away from heat, excessive humidity, and never mount the controller over open water. Affix the rear mounting frame to the flat surface such as a wall or outside the aquarium stand. Please be sure that the cable reaches the pump and the cable connections have proper drip loops to prevent any components from getting wet. Connect the cable from the controller to the 3K pump and then connect the cable from the power supply to the controller. Finally, connect the pump to the power outlet and run the pump for the first time. Now that the pump is running, let's take a look at the controller and its features. The controller box has two buttons, a dial, and a display. The power setup button allows you to turn the controller pump on and off, engage feed mode, as well as set the controller's internal clock. The switch mode button allows you to switch between each of the available options, while the control dial lets you toggle between the different flow speed and pulse frequency. The controller features five different flow modes, constant speed mode, pulsing mode, gradual pulsing mode, random mode, and alternating gyre mode. We suggest you start with constant speed mode to configure your pump's flow pattern 
water flow speed, positioning, and direction of the flow cages. The second available flow mode is pulsing. Here you can set the pump to automatically switch on and off at different preset times to recreating surging effect. Gradual pulsing mode is similar to pulsing mode as the pump will turn on and off at a set frequency. The difference is that each time the pump turns on and off, it will increase the speed until it reaches the maximum speed we specified. Then it will gradually slow down and start the cycle again. In random mode, you set the max speed and the controller will randomly select and run different modes to create an unpredictable flow pattern within your aquarium. The fifth and last water flow mode is the alternating gyre. Running in reverse is one of the pump's most unique features. In this mode and in stock configuration, the pump is capable of pushing water forward and then, when running in reverse, creates a turbulent flow. Now, in this video, we will not cover alternating gyre mode. This video is more of a quick overview meant to get your IceCap 3K up and running for the first time. If you would like a more in-depth view of the alternating gyre mode, please watch our upcoming video, Ice Cap Gyre 3K, Alternating Gyre Mode. In addition to the flow modes, the controller comes with two operational modes. Manual mode that allows you to configure a single flow mode to run 24 seven, and automatic mode, which allows you to create a customized flow regimen in a 24 hour continuous cycle. To set up manual mode, Press and hold the power button for 4 seconds to turn the controller on. Now press and hold the switch mode button for 4 seconds until the controller displays an M letter. If the controller displays an A letter instead, press and hold the switch mode button again until the letter A switches to an M. Now press and release the switch mode button once again to enter the setup screen. The screen will flash a gear icon indicating that the controller is in setup mode. The controller will now let you set up the pump. Rotate the dial clockwise to select a desired flow mode. Once a controller flashes the desired flow icon, press the center dial once to save and continue to the next available option. Depending on the flow mode you have selected, you will now be asked to set the different flow variables. Since the pump can run in both forward and reverse, the direction will be shown by a plus or minus sign next to the flow speed percentage. Rotate the dial clockwise to select the forward and counterclockwise to select the reverse. Once you have reached the desired flow speed and direction, press the center dial once to save and move on to the next available variable. Continue this process through all required variables. Automatic mode is set up very similar to manual mode. In fact, the only difference is that you can select how long a particular setup will run. To select automatic mode, press and hold the switch mode button for 4 seconds until you see an A icon on the right side of the display screen. Now press and release both power and switch mode buttons at the same time. Rotate the dial to the correct hour and press the dial in to set up minutes. When done, press and release the switch mode button to save. Press and release the switch mode button once again to enter setup mode. The display will now flash a gear icon. As you enter setup mode, you will see the left side display flash number one. Next to the number one, you will also see this timestamp set to zero. The number one indicates a set point in the scheduling. The controller can have up to 24 different set points. The timestamp indicates the starting point of such set point. For example, I'm going to create a 3.24 hour schedule. I want the first set point to run a pattern from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. Then I want a new pattern to run from 2 p.m. to 10 p.m. And I want a last pattern to run from 10 p.m. to 8 a.m. the next day. You'll need to set the first number to one with a timestamp of 0800. Then, Proceed to set up the pump the same way we set up the manual mode. After setting up all variables for one set point and you have pressed the center button to return to the flashing number one, carefully turn the dial clockwise until the number one changes to a number two. Set up point two to 1400 and following the same sequence as before. Create point three with the starting time of 2200. Once you have created all desired set points, 
go ahead and press the switch mode button once to return to the main screen. The left side of the display will confirm the new program and the gear icon will fade away. The controller also comes equipped with the feeding mode. When activated, the controller will shut down the pump for 10 minutes. To activate the feed mode, just press and release the power button and the controller will display the countdown confirming that the feed mode has been activated. The pump will resume its previous operating mode after 10 minutes. Now here are some commonly asked questions. What is the best mounting orientation for my new IceCap 3K? I get this question asked all the time, and unfortunately there isn't a straightforward answer. Each tank is different, different rockwork, random shapes, and different corals. What works for one person may not necessarily work for another. Test different locations and flow patterns until you find something that both you and your corals are happy with. As a starting point, we recommend mounting the pump horizontally near the water surface on the side of the aquarium. Move it around and pay attention to your corals. They will tell you when they're happy. I'm running my gyre in alternating gyre mode, but it does not move any water running at 100% reverse. What is going on? The pump is producing turbulent flow. If you wish to run the pump as if you had two pumps, you will require a second set of cages and propeller bushings to modify the way the pump is assembled. My pump did not come with the spare set of cages and propellers. How do I run alternating gyre mode without them? The IceCap 3K pump does not include a spare set of propellers and cages. These are sold separately. To purchase the IceCap 3K alternating gyre mode kit, and includes a set of propellers and cages, please head over to CoralV.com. Well, that's our video for today. If you would like to learn more about the IceCap 3K flow pump, including detail specs, beautiful high quality pictures, and replacement parts, head on over to CoralV.com. If you have any other questions or issues with the product, don't hesitate to visit our support portal at CoralV.com forward slash support. Our Friendly support reps are eager to help you with any questions or issues you may have. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and to stay up to date on all our latest products, reviews, and tutorial videos. You can also follow us on Twitter at CoralView and give us a like on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash CoralView Aquarium Products.